Chicago may be the second city, but it's the first to launch a permanent infrastructure to collect big data. This network of environmental sensors will measure temperature, humidity, light, sound, and cell phone signals. All from these metal fixtures mounted on lampposts along Chicago's famed Michigan Avenue, as well as in other locations. The project is being dubbed Chicago's Array of Things. The city of Chicago is obviously quite large. It's stretched along a lake. So we'll have much more precise temperature data, which will help us do things like perhaps salt the streets more effectively depending on where temperature is varying. Cities always had the data. I'm not sure they always used it to figure out how to govern better. The first 30 will be installed this fall with the plan to have 500 sensors in place over the next two to three years. We analyzed certain data and we realized where you could do something on a proactive basis rather than a reactive basis, rather than it, when it gets worse, then you try to uh, slam it down. How do you get ahead of it so it actually never emerges as a problem? Because the city is very concerned about its architecture, it was very important to us that we make sure that we put up something that is aesthetically pleasing. The inside is actually comprised of primarily commercially available components. We wanted to make sure we didn't create something that wasn't sustainable or, frankly, repeatable by other cities. So a lot of the technology components inside can be purchased essentially off the shelf. The goal? To make Chicago a cleaner, more efficient, and safer place to live. Analyzing time, place, other trends in crime to know what tactics and what strategy and where you put police officers. Sometimes the record of government trying to work with technology, mm -hmm. healthcare.gov, um, isn't always sterling. Sure. How do you try to make sure that you don't wind up in a situation mm -hmm. like that, let's Yeah, say. no, fair enough. We set the requirements, but we're allowing the experts in the field to actually produce the technology. The city is setting the stage for innovation and then getting out of the way. But this new high-tech sensing system does have some privacy watchdogs concerned. The data will be open to the public and the software and hardware will be open source too. So both developers and watchdogs will have access to the information. But what's the city's take on those concerns for privacy and anonymity? You gotta always balance those. That goes without saying. Chicago usually has a historical bent towards holding back information. We try to be more transparent in providing that from a industry formation, job formation uh, kind of culture. 